have been working hard on improving our reading skills this school year. We read every day at school and try to read just as much when we are home. So far this year I have read 7,000 minutes outside of school. I have a goal to read 3,000 more minutes by the time the school year ends. Reading is awesome! At the beginning of the school year, the first graders had a goal to move 326 reading goals by the end of first grade. As of today, we have a learning move at 285 reading levels. That's a lot of reading progress, and the year's not over yet. The first graders will continue to synergize to meet this important learning goal. Now here's a fun song the first graders have learned while working toward our goal of being better readers. Project is something our class does every day to spread kindness. 
We celebrate a student in our class by writing compliments on a poster for them. Then we read the compliments aloud to them. It always puts a smile on their face. We like to do cardio desk drumming as a brain break. You can watch us or join in and dance along. We don't talk about Bruno, no, no, no. We don't talk about Bruno. But it was my way. It was my way. to the state I, I was really excited about other games because I've never used them before I've never played them before so when my dad taught me about um, chess it was really cool because I never learned about that so my dad's friends helped me by saying hey you can do this and it inspired me by playing chess by, by yourself so I taught my friends I played with them, and eventually they got better at it. Hi everybody, today I'm gonna to be reading you my um, class song that I made. I mostly made it so that all my friends, or my classmates in my class can feel reminded of everybody else. And if like someone that someone had a friend that traveled, they can I can sing them this and maybe they can feel welcome. So it goes, Amelia Chase, Nevaeh Bennett, Cram, Aria Wyatt, Jenna, Clara, Eileen, Addie, Matthew, Nolan, Sean, Aiden, Mallory. We can practice the seven habits if we all work together and synergize. We can accomplish our goals. We can be the best class. Let's synergize.
are lifting up the parachute to get um, the balls or popcorn off the um, parachute. At first, it was just, we weren't organized at all. We just, with no intention, with no, with no strategy, it was not working. No. So I gave a countdown to lift up the parachute and then everyone at the same time put it down that way all the um, balls just like fall off the parachute and it worked very well it definitely had to um synergize it above all synergizing hi i'm crm and when i created this book it all started from a leadership project and i was inspired because um i thought it'd be funny to see how a popcorn would move around and how it would act and then um how i got how i i started doing offer visits my friend um told me um our next i hope our next offer visit is you so um i was like so i asked our librarian because we had a um, library in a couple of days. And if I could do an offer visit, then that's how it started. And this is my new book, Poppy Horn. Forgiving in You're on the way Can you feel the wind Shining your light Shining your light Trust in your heart The strength within Join with the world Can you hear them sing Now is the time Now is the time Live like you are original you're invincible
fourth grade, we do a lot of STEM projects. I like STEM projects. They always make school more interesting and more fun to be at. To name a few, like the uh, Bone Bridge or the Leprechaun Trap or even the Boston Tea Party projects, those were all so much fun to do. STEM projects are also fun because I get to work with my friends, which is important because that way my project gets better and I'm working with more compatible friends. In conclusion, I think STEM projects are fun not only because they're cool to build or because they help me get to know my friends better, but it helps me learn and I hope that we can always improve STEM projects to get better. Hi, I'm Noah, and my goal was to do my math multiplication wig where you had to get 54 correct. I tried and tried, but I didn't get to my goal, but I kept trying, and finally on the last day that we did it, I got my goal of 54 questions correct, and my picture's on the wall now. So if you have a goal, you can reach it. So the plus delta chart, we use it in our classroom to like reflect on what we've done well this week and what we need to work on. Um, and what we can do next week to do better. My favorite thing about the plus delta chart is that we can be able to see our problems and learn how to fix them. And another reason why it's great to have a plus delta chart is it basically shows us what we could work on to be better than we are and be better leaders. I love our classroom plus and delta chart because it really shows us how we can reflect on ourselves. I don't think the classroom would be as good as it would be without the plus delta chart. If we didn't have this, we couldn't reflect on the things we needed to work on. And if we didn't do that, then the classroom wouldn't be as good as it could be.